Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today I'm going to be telling you about the fastest way for you to switch from shooting handheld with a camera strap to shooting using a photo tripod to shooting on a DJI gimbal to mounting the gimbal on a tripod to turning the photo tripod into a video tripod easily turning that into a tripod slider and lastly putting your camera into a rig in just seconds so over the past 10 years I have been constantly switching between this hold fast camera clip to this Manfrotto RC2 plate for my photo tripod and then over to my Manfrotto video plate which is big and heavy and I'm done with it all you need is just one plate in general, you'll need to switch everything to Arca Swiss plates. But more specifically, you'll need to buy this one right here for your camera. Now, this actually serves three purposes. The first thing is that it's an Arca Swiss plate. The second thing is it actually has a slot for your camera strap or a Peak Design anchor. And the last thing, which I actually really love, is that it has a flip out clip, which is perfect if you're using Hold Fast Moneymaker straps uh, or the Solo or even Black Rapid straps. The great thing about having the strap at the bottom as opposed to at the top corners is that it doesn't get in the way if you're doing any very angle stuff. Or if you're shooting in portrait mode, the straps also don't get in the way of the EVF or your trigger finger. And if you're a videographer and you're doing handheld work, it's absolutely fantastic because it adds another point of contact. When you stretch the strap away from you and you create a little bit of tension between the strap and the camera and yourself, it acts and helps stabilizes your handheld footage. So the first issue that you're gonna encounter is with the DJI gimbal plate. It's the same with the RS2 versus the RSC2. Essentially they advertise it as a Manfrotto long plate integrated with an Arca Swiss top plate. It is half true. So the actual plate quick release plate itself is compatible and will fit into all of the other base plates out there for Arca Swiss. However, you cannot use those other standard Arca Swiss plates or even your Peak Design uh, V3 plate and it won't fit into this just because it's actually a smidge smaller than the standard. So the quick fix, relatively inexpensive, is to you, you have to replace that entire thing with the small rig version. So the small rig version is actually a little bit bigger and it will allow for regular size Arca Swiss plates to fit in here. The next thing that you're gonna do is add a small base plate and adapter in between the legs and the base of the gimbal. So you can actually easily take it off, on and off, and quickly mount it onto your tripod. Just like that. On your tripod, I would suggest that you get a good quality ball head. And on top of that, that is where you add another base adapter. I will suggest that you get one with a longer thumb screw, just because if you mount a slider or a video head, it won't obstruct you when you're putting it on and off. Next up on your slider, add another quick release plate to the bottom. And on the top, you add on another base adapter. Again, I would suggest something with a longer th thumb screw tightening knob. Next up, you get your video head, add a quick release adapter to the bottom and another base adapter to the top on top of the actual Manifrotto quick release plate. And there you have it. Now you can quickly mount and unmount your video head. Or if you had a camera rig such as this one, it already has an Arca Swiss quick release built into the riser. So it was absolutely great to see all of these options, but let's see in real time how fast I can actually change between all of these setups. So let's start off with the tripod and gimbal setup. And we're gonna first, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna mount it onto our standard gimbal setup, which is using the legs, supplied legs from DJI. Close that up and there you have it. And we just went from tripod setup to the gimbal setup. And then now let's actually go to photo tripod mode setup. So all we're gonna do is just gonna quickly take the camera off, mount it on here, 
tighten that up. And now essentially you have a photo tripod system. You can actually change the ball head, turn the ball head, I mean, and you can shoot portrait mode if you needed to, but we'll just kind of put it back there. Now, let's jump to video mode, a standard video tripod. Take the camera off. We're going to attach the video head, attach the camera. And now we have a nice and smooth pan and tilt that we could do using our tripod. Now, let's add a slider onto there. So what we'll do is we will take uh, this head and camera off. I'll set it just down right here. We'll take the slider, quickly mount it onto the tripod, tighten that up, take our head and camera, mount that on, tighten that up, unlock the slider, and now you have a sliding tripod slider. And the great thing is if your camera becomes not level, you can essentially, because you have a ball head, you can essentially just find your level, tighten it up, and there you have it. So we'll tighten that back up. Now, from this mode, let's go switch into handheld mode. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and at the very bottom, we're gonna flip out the clip, take our hold fast strap, and then we just gotta clip it on. Boom, there. And now I can shoot handheld photos or videos. And that essentially didn't take very much time to switch from a gimbal to a tripod, to a photo and a video tripod, to a sliding tripod, and all the way to handheld. So I feel like this is a fantastic setup and it, does, it just takes seconds to switch in between systems. And that's essentially it, guys. Overall, it adds a little bit of weight to your entire system, but I'll trade that to save a little bit of time because time is money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.